So this is going to be the first lecture, which is the basic definitions, just a sort of a review, the definitions and the units which we are going to use in our upcoming lectures. So the first review would be with uh, starting with the SI units and the first SI unit you should all know is going to be the mass uh, which of which the SI unit is going to be the kilogram. So remember kilogram for mass, for length we use my meter, for time it's going to be seconds so we'll be using microsecond, milliseconds and for the current we are going to use ampere which is the SI unit of current and there is going to be a SI unit of uh, temperature which is Kelvin and the uh, light intensity or luminous intensity which is going to be candela. So just to make sure like try to remember that for the electric current it is going to be ampere and the second the seconds is going to be for the time for meter for length and kilogram for mass these are the important ones especially the electric current one and then uh, the unit of energy is going to be joule so joule is one kilogram meter square over second square so this is a sort of a unit of energy and then for the power is watt which is donated by W and is equal to one joule per second. So remember that for the energy it's going to be joule, for the power it's going to be watt. And the next one is going to be electric charge which is measured in coulombs and one coulomb is equal to one ampere second and the EMF or electromagnetic force or the potential difference is going to be volt which is equal to one joule per coulomb. The unit for uh, absorbed dose which is quite frequently used in the radiation protection is going to be the gray and gray is one joule per kilogram and unit of activity or radioactivity is going to be Becquerel and one Becquerel is equal to one activity or one disintegration per second and these are in mega Becquerels uh, to uh, be more specific. So then there is going to be a unit uh, of atomic mass which is AMU, one AMU is equal to 1.6 seconds into 10 to uh, raise to power minus 27 so it's a pretty small unit but still that's what we are going to use to weigh the electrons protons and neutrons basic forces and one is going to be the electromagnetic force so what you have to remember about this is that it is going to be either force of attraction or repulsion between charged objects so this means that if there is a positive and a negative, so there is going to be a uh, force of attraction and if there are two like charges, like two positives or two negatives, so they are going to repel each other. So this force is known as basically electromagnetic force and then we have a fundamental force which is the forces which are the interaction between protons and neutrons. Now to make these clear, I will show you a table where we have different uh, type of forces and the for example they start with the gravity gravity has a unit one strength and now we will just leave this weak force but we will come to the electromagnetic force which has a relative strength of 10 to raise to power 36 in comparison with gravity and it has an infinite range of interaction and it is always between the electric charged particles and it could be positive or force of attraction or a force of repulsion. Now compare this with another force which is a strong force and the strength is going to be even more than the electromagnetic force. It has a certain range of interaction and these the main purpose is going to be the bind the nucleons together and the nucleons to be more specific are protons and neutrons. So the force which is binding them together is the strong force. So just have an idea of a strong force. This one 
and the electromagnetic force. So just about these two forces which we will be using to discuss the stability of the nucleus as it comes in the future slides. The energy and uh, kinetic energy is the energy which is due to the motion of any object and it is half mv square which is mass into velocity uh, times uh, square and then we have joule is the unit for energy as we have seen in the previous slide for power it was watt but for joule it is uh, for energy it's going to be joule but when we are working with the small nucleons and electrons this unit is going to be too large so what we do is we drive another uh, unit which is a fraction of this unit and uh, you can see that this is the electron volt so one electron volt is 1.6 into 10 to raise to power minus 19 joules and it's because the charge of the electron is uh, going to be 1.6 into 10 to raise to power minus uh, 19 so that's why uh, it's equal to joules and now how this is derived is now how it is derived is one electron volt is the kinetic energy obtained by an electron as it is accelerated between a voltage difference of one volt so for just to uh, uh, make sure uh, the understanding of this say if there is oh, these are two charges say this is the negative one and this is the positive one and you all know that the electron is going to be attracted by the positive one so say if we have a potential difference of one volt between this negative and the positive and we have an electron which we will be uh, say accelerating towards this side so the energy which that electron will be having when it's reached this part is going to be one electron volt so this is how we drive and uh, whatever the difference is going to be say there is a difference of two volts so then the elect uh, the energy that that electron will be carrying would be two electron volt next one this is the uh, now we have energies an energy without mass or velocity such as electromagnetic radiation so we, these are the radio waves and x-rays and gamma rays whereas the rest mass energy of a particle is always derived by the famous uh, equation which is E is equal to mc square so if we convert the mass of the electron into energy by this formula of E is equal to mc square is going to be 511 kilo electron volt so remember there is a kilo electron volt so it's going to be 511 thousand electron volts so electricity and power so electricity in a circuit is going to be current into resistance just have a fast review of these and the power is going to be voltage into current so this is important especially the uh, voltage into current is going to be the power and so this completes our first module and uh, we'll be moving to the next now